What is jet engines? A jet engine can also be called as a reaction engine because the reaction produced by the engine propels the aircraft or vehicle. Jet engines are internal combustion engines discharging hot exhaust gases at high velocity that generate thrust. Unlike the internal combustion engines in automobiles and trucks which convert the up and down movement of the piston to rotary movement of crankshaft, jet engines simply produces power by sucking air at the front side and discharging it at the back side. What is thrust? Thrust is the forward force that pushes the engine and, therefore, the airplane forward. Sir Isaac Newton discovered that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. An engine uses this principle. The engine takes in a large volume of air. The air is heated and compressed and slowed down. The air is forced through many spinning blades. By mixing this air with jet fuel, the temperature of the air can be as high as 3000 degrees. The power of the air is used to turn the turbine. Finally, when the air leaves, it pushes backward out of the engine. This causes the plane to move forward. Parts in jet engines. Compressor. The compressor is the first component of the engine. It has many blades and is attached to the main shaft. The compressor sucks and squeezes the air as it moves further which results in very high pressure of air. Combustor. In this part, the compressed air is mixed with the fuel and ignited. The heat can reach up to 2700 C. Turbine. The exhaust gases are made pass through turbine, causing the turbine blades to rotate. They are fixed on same shaft on which the compressor is attached. Nozzle. The nozzle is the exhaust duct of the engine. This is the part of the engine which produces thrust and propels the aircraft. The converging design of the nozzle helps to accelerate the gases to a very high velocity. Fan. The fan is the first component in a turbofan. The large spinning fan sucks in large quantities of air. Most blades of the fan are made of titanium. It then speeds this air up and splits it into two parts. One part continues through the core or center of the engine where it is acted upon by the other engine components. The second part bypasses the core of the engine. It goes through a duct that surrounds the core to the back of the engine where it produces much of the force that propels the airplane forward. This cooler air helps to quiet the engine as well as adding thrust to the engine. Turbine The high energy airflow coming out of the combustor goes into the turbine, causing the turbine blades to rotate. The turbines are linked by a shaft to turn the blades in the compressor and to spin the intake fan at the front. This rotation takes some energy from the high energy flow that is used to drive the fan and the compressor. The gases produced in the combustion chamber move through the turbine and spin its blades. The turbines of the jet spin around thousands of times. They are fixed on shafts which have several sets of ball bearing in between them. Working of jet engine. The compressor sucks the air and compresses it. This highly compressed air is then forced into combustion chamber. Multiple nozzles inject fuel into the air and igniter, similar to spark plug, causes air to catch fire. The fuel burns with oxygen present in compressed air producing hot expanding gases. These gases are passed through the turbines which causes the blades to rotate. This turning of turbine also rotates the shaft to which it is fixed. The same shaft in turn rotates the compressor. Which means instead of just letting out those hot gases, they are indirectly used to suck fresh air at the same time. This is the reason we need turbine after the combustion chamber section. After coming out of the turbine, then the gases are allowed to exit the engine through a converging shaped nozzle. The force of the exhaust gases pushing backwards, action, produces equal and opposite forward force, reaction, Newton's third law of motion. We call this forward force as thrust which powers the aircraft or vehicle forward. Types of jet engines The first jet engine successfully flew in August, 1939. Hans von Ohain of Germany was the designer of the first operational jet engine, types of jet engines gas turbines. Turbojet engines This are most common type of jet engines. The fans in the front does the work of compressor. The compressed air is then forced into the combustion chamber. After injection of fuel, 
takes place the combustion of the high pressure fresh air. These hot expanding gases are then made to flow through turbine which causes the blade to rotate. The turning of turbine also helps to run the compressor as they are connected to the same drive shaft. The discharged gases are then allowed to exit through nozzle at high speed which produces thrust and propels the aircraft. A turbofan engine is an engine very similar to the jet engine. Like the turbojet, it uses the same gas generator core I.E compressor, combustor, turbine, to produce thrust and turbine is used to run the compressor as well as the fan. Turbofans differ from the turbojets in the way they have an additional component a fan. The fan sucks in air and then further gets compressed and combustion takes place in the burner. As you can see in the animation, instead of burning the whole fresh charge, only some part of it is used for combustion and the rest of the air just bypasses, goes around, the engine. The air that goes around the engine has a slight more velocity than the free stream. So a turbofan gets some of its thrust from the core and some of its thrust from the fan. The ratio of the air that goes around the engine to the air that goes through the core is called the bypass ratio. If the fuel flow rate is same for the turbojet and turbofan engine, the turbofan will generate more thrust because the flow of discharged gases gets accelerated by the bypass air. This means that turbofan engines are more fuel efficient than turbojets. Turboprop engines Many low-speed transport and small aircrafts use turboprop engines. Turboprop engines use a gas turbine core to turn the propeller. The core is similar to the turbojet or turbofan engine as discussed above. The difference is instead of expanding all the gases through the nozzle to produce thrust, most of the energy is used to drive the turbine. The turbine then turns the drive shaft which rotates the propeller. The exhaust velocity of a turboprop is low and contributes little thrust because most of the energy of the core exhaust has gone into turning the drive shaft. Ramjets Ramjets are very different type of jet engines from design point of view. The front side of a ramjet has a conical part which compresses the intake air. At the exit of the inlet, the air is at a much higher pressure than free stream conditions. Fuel is injected for combustion and produces thrust by expelling the hot gases through the nozzle. These types of engines have no moving parts yet they are able to achieve speed of Mach 5, 5 times the speed of sound. These engines don't develop and static thrust, hence a ramjet vehicle needs some type of assisted takeoff such as another aircraft. Ramjets are mainly used in guided missile systems. Scramjets The name, scramjet, comes from, supersonic combusting ramjet. Like a ramjet, they consist of an inlet, a combustor, and a nozzle. The primary difference between ramjets and scramjets is that scramjets do not slow the oncoming airflow to subsonic speeds for combustion, they use supersonic combustion instead. Scramjets can operate at speeds above Mach 6 where traditional ramjets are too inefficient. Advantages 1. Does not have to carry oxygen. 2. No rotating parts makes it easier to manufacture than a turbojet. 3. Higher speed could mean cheaper access to outer space in the future. Disadvantages 1. Difficult, expensive testing and development 2. Very high initial propulsion requirements Interesting facts In 1903, the Wright brothers flew, the flyer, with a 12-horsepower gas-powered engine. It was Frank Whittle, a British pilot, who designed and patented the first turbojet engine in 1930. The Whittle engine first flew successfully in May, 1941. Jet engines not only power aircraft but also cruise missiles and unmanned aerial vehicles, UAV or we also call them drones. A car named SSC Thrust, currently holding the land speed record, is powered by a jet engine.